What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the hottest day on planet Earth. So if you guys see me sweating on every inch of this blazer through this video, I apologize. But in this one, we're gonna be taking a look at my top five hidden features inside the 2024 Chevy Blazer RS. Now I made a hidden features video back in 2021 talking about a lot of these similar features, but someone might be picking up a 2024 Blazer for the first time. They're just trying to learn everything there is to know about their vehicle. So before you leave a negative comment, give yourself two thumbs up, one big gold star. You know how it works. Just keep in mind, people are just trying to learn about their new vehicles. But enough wasting time, let's get to number one. So on the eight inch driver information cluster here, you actually have the ability to customize the themes. Now, unfortunately there are only two themes, but the one that comes default is sport and it is not my favorite. So you can actually change that. So if we go and use the controls here on the right side of the steering wheel, hit the left arrow, scroll down to options, then scroll down to display theme, and then hit the right arrow, you have sport and touring. So like I said, sport is on by default. It's a little bit more chaotic than I prefer, uh, but if you like it, that's totally fine. You guys rock with what you like, but I like to switch it to touring. Touring is a lot cleaner, a lot uh, less clutter on the screen, uh, just a lot of negative space, which I'm a fan of, and it just gives you very clear driver information there. So that's the one I turn on. Up to you guys, but I really like touring. And in case you didn't know, you can customize that. Now for number two, let's hop outside real quick because I need to cool off. This is always a fan favorite when I talk about these hidden features, but you can actually use the key fob to drop the windows. Now this only works to drop the windows down, at least in the United States for safety reasons. But if this isn't working for you, make sure you have it toggled inside the infotainment system settings. So if it is toggled on, you should just be able to press and hold the unlock button and the window should drop. There you go. And it drops all four windows, so you can quickly cool the car off on a miserably hot and sticky day like today. Now, if this isn't working for you guys automatically, what you need to do is go into settings, go to vehicle, go to remote lock, unlock and start, scroll down and you'll see remote window operation. By default, mine was turned off, but as you can see now, I've got it turned on. So it should work now for you, no problem. Now hopping back in for number three, let's take a look at this rear view mirror camera. Now, some of you, I'm sure you know because you all are smart, but some of you may not know that this is actually a two-way mirror of sorts. It's a regular rear view mirror, but if you flick this little lever, it becomes a digital rear view mirror where you can use one of the two cameras on the tailgate to see clearly out your back windshield, just in case you have like really tall people in the back seat or boxes or something like that and you need a clear view out there. You can do that, but that's really not that hidden. They advertise that very well. But what they don't advertise is you can actually customize the view of this display here. So you have these little buttons underneath the mirror here. If you push the one on the far left, it'll bring up the options. So you have brightness, and then you can use the other two to either raise or lower the brightness, hit that. Then you have a zoom option, which I really like because I prefer it to be zoomed out. I don't like how zoomed in it is by default, but you can zoom in as much as you want or zoom out all the way. And then you have a kind of angle, a uh, tilt angle option here. So you can raise that up all the way or lower it down, whatever your preference is. So a lot of nice customization there on the rear view mirror camera to get the display to look exactly like you want it to or whatever's most helpful for you when driving. For number four, if you lift up the center console here, you actually have a little clip hidden up under here. Now I don't have any papers like you would normally probably store under here, but I have this little extra hard drive and it actually fits real nicely on this clip right there, boom. Nice. So I could store this little extra hard drive up underneath here or whatever you'd want, you know, vehicle registration, other paperwork, user manual, things like that. You could store it up under here with this little hidden clip. You might not have noticed it because it's uh, kind of hard to see if you don't uh, lift it all the way up all the time, but there it is. Now, one of you all actually tipped me off to number five, and that is that you can actually lock your glove box with a secret code. Now, this is really easily done using valet mode. So what you wanna do is go into settings, scroll all the way down under vehicle to valet mode, and then you have to enter a code. So you can put whatever code you want. I like to use my super secret code of one, two, three, four. Please don't tell anybody, but I just do one, two, three, four, hit enter. It'll confirm one, two, three, four, and then hit lock. And then after that has been confirmed, you can no longer use the glove box button to unlock the glove box. And you really can't do anything. You can't use the radio controls. It'll just stay on valet mode here. And the only way to really open it is to unlock using the password. And then boom, the radio turns back on, gives you all the controls again, and you can use your glove box button to open it and get access to the glove box again. So really cool secret feature to have a secret pin 
to open your glove box in valet mode. Now, I never just give you guys five hidden features. I always like to sprinkle in some bonus features. Now, in the past, I've talked about how on the exterior of the vehicle, you have all these hidden Chevy bow ties and you have little uh, references to like the Stingray from the Corvette and things like that on the exterior. To be honest, on this model year, there aren't that many Chevy bow ties on the exterior. There are a couple and I'll show you them here. But there also doesn't seem to be a very defined Stingray outline like there used to be. I don't know if it's because the daytime running lights are lower profile or what the deal is, but you can't really see that Stingray as clearly. I guess it's probably still there, but I didn't think it was even worth really showing off as its own thing. But on the inside, you still have a couple hidden features inside the menu that you guys might not know about. So let's take a look at those real quick. If you go into settings and you go to uh, remote lock, unlock and start, you have three little things I wanna talk about. One and two are the remote start auto cooled seats and the remote start auto heat seats. So you can alternate these during the winter and the summer depending on you know what it's like in your area. But uh, if you wanna toggle these on, then whenever you use the key fob to do remote start, it will auto heat the seats or auto cool the seats. When it is 98 degrees at 11 a.m. in August, you maybe want to use the auto cool seats, which I'm using right now, which I'm not feeling as much, but I am using them. In the winter, when it's absolutely freezing, maybe you want to use the auto heat seats option. So that's how you access all of those. And then another cool thing is passive door unlock, and that's found underneath that. You can switch this, and the passive door unlock is the little button on the exterior of the vehicle, the you know keyless entry, as most people call it. But you can actually switch this so it can be driver door only or all doors. So if you're a single individual and you just want to unlock the driver's door you, for safety reasons, you can do that. But if you're a family and you want all the doors to unlock so the kids can get in nice and easy, you can switch it to all doors. So that's really nice. You also have two other nice little features that are found inside the settings. So if you go to comfort and convenience under vehicle, you have two options that are checked off by default. So you might wanna turn these on because I really like them. Number one is reverse tilt mirror. This is exactly what it sounds like. When you go in reverse, your side mirrors automatically tilt down to give you a better view of what's on the sides of your vehicle. So by default for me, this was turned off, but you can turn it on to driver and passenger, driver or passenger individually. I don't know why you'd ever wanna do just one, but you can, but I would go ahead and turn it on driver and passenger. So if we go ahead and put it in reverse, you'll notice both of the side mirrors go ahead and tilt down for me. Then when you go back into park, they tilt back up to their standard position. And then finally, you have something that I like to talk about and that is auto wipe in reverse gear. So if it's raining and this feature is enabled, mine was disabled by default, and you've got your wipers on, when you put the vehicle in reverse, the rear wiper automatically starts wiping off the windshield. This is just a nice little convenience feature so you don't have to use the little toggle here to turn on your rear wiper when it's raining, at least not initially. So. Again, something is turned off by default, but you guys might want to use that, and that's how you do it. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and thanks for sticking with me through the hottest day of the year for me leaving sweat marks all over everything. I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. Drop a like on the video if you loved it. Tell me in the comments down below what do you think about my list of hidden features. Did I miss one that's your favorite? Let's talk about it down in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be among the first to see every single new video the second I hit publish. We'll see you in the next one.